I want to give a huge shout out and a thank you to my sponsor, P2 Collectibles, located at 204 East McGalliard Road in Muncie and on eBay as well. So next time you're here in Muncie, let us know. Come give us a visit. Hey, what is up y'all? This is Awesome Plus 3 TCG coming at y'all with a deck profile, another casual one as we usually do. We are going to be looking at Fur Hires with the new edition of Philo. This card is very good for the deck. It's essentially a searchable um, recursion card from the grave. We already had um, Mayhem for Hire, which was good enough, but it wasn't searchable. This is searchable. They do different things, but essentially the same. And very good card. So without further ado, we're hopping right in. Um, and then a combo video um, will follow if y'all want. Let me know down in the comment section below. There's cool cards, you, cool combos you can do with Philo. But we're only playing two because we are playing a one for one. And this card is only good um, when you have um, multiple fur hires and it's not the first thing that you're summoning. Multiple fur hires, you have fur hires in grave and it's not the first thing you're summoning. Uh, you can summon it and then just arguably not use this effect and then summon it later uh, if you have an additional one you'll just have to see the combo to see how that card interacts with the deck it's very awesome recon um another thing that i probably should have mentioned before this is this is a going second deck so with that in mind recon and donpa are um, much more valuable than the last for higher profile that i made because i noticed similar to spirals a lot of these cards say i want to interact with your opponent's cards so i figured fuck it let's try and go for um a going second deck since this deck already swarms a field let's try and just make this kind of like a boral sword turbo deck so we can just pump out Fulgo and Boral Sword, get out an additional monster, and then attack for game. Um, and then Recon just allows you to do that by popping a sec card when a furry is summoned. Dawn plus the same thing. When another furry is summoned, you can pop a face-up card. Um, and then in tandem with Fulgo, that's a lot of cards you get to draw. And this is the best card in the deck, Beat. You always want to see this card first. This is the card that gets you into your cards. Summon this first, summon another one, and then add an additional card, depending on what you need. Three Helmer, this is arguably another one you kind of want to see. It's a pseudo, a pseudo starter extender because you get to pitch a card, draw a card, and it could get you into the thing that you need. But you kind of already have to have a good handful for hires in order to be able to afford a Helmer effect. Um, two seal, we're only playing two because we're playing multiple ways to get into this card. So I don't think it's as necessary, uh, but it is a crucial part of the combo when you do get it. Bravo, we are going second, so we are trying to beef our guys up to make them um, much more viable uh, to push for game. Wiz, I want to cut this card, but sometimes going first is a good idea. And this can help you get there. Also going second, if you summon this card, you can just negate a spell or trap, but it's not as ideal. Uh, so you could arguably cut it, but I still think it's potentially worthy of playing. I'm still testing it. Um, Rafael, no need to explain this card. This is an amazing card. Uh, big attack, great effect. Um, all in all, just a good card. Helps you dig for the stuff you need. On to the spells though. We are playing um, two tanky. Move these monsters out of the way. Two tanky because we are playing two beast, two other beast warriors. So we are essentially playing four copies of seal, and then one Rhoda because no duh, B is a warrior. One for one for the new card Philo. This card is um, just another way to get into Philo. Uh, you, you don't necessarily want to open it, um, but you do want to open a handful of fur hires. So it's not a terrible idea, or it's not terrible if you open it. Um, it's if you can open one for one, it's even better, even though you have to pitch a monster, uh, which in tandem with seal could be a good thing. Uh, Foolish Burial, also great card, gets you into the things that you like. If you open a seal, you can pitch the card that you need and then recover it back, like I said in previous videos. Playing three Mayhem for Hire, I still think this is an amazing card, even though we have Philo. This can just allow you for additional extension into Link Monsters, ideally Boral Sword and or Fulgo. But, I mean, if you already have, like if you have to go into a uh, Link 2 and then Mayhem for Hire, one of those back, um, it can help, but you still can't go into Fulgo because you need three monsters. Um, 
So it, it it's a great extender and it just helps you push for game. It doesn't always help you go get full go, but it does help you push for game in the sense of um, making a Boral Sword. And then more uh, graveyard play, Monster Reborn, and then three desires to round off all of our starters and extenders. Onto the defensive cards. So three Ash, it just covers the most ground. Three Mind Control, this card is great in this deck because Fogo just needs three monsters with different types. So with that in mind, you can steal one of their monsters and if all you have is two fur hires, you're still good to go. Same thing with Instant Fusion. These both, these play the role of extender and defensive card. You get rid of the problem with Mind Control and you can link it away. Same thing with Instant Fusion. You summon out, well, you'll see. You should already know from the last profiles though. Uh, we play two Fulgo because this card is so amazing. It gets you the cards that you need if you can summon it. Link Karibo for if we're going first, because uh, you can end on a board where you have the level one Philo up and then you can just link it away for a Link Karibo to have more interruption. One Phoenix, one Unicorn, one Triple Burst Dragon. Cards going up in price, which is kind of cool because it does have a lot of utility. Boral Sword Dragon, Boral Low Dragon, Saryuja. I used no unicorn. <laughs> Sorry, y'all, that was my kid. <laughs> she just woke up. So Boral Sword Dragon for the game. Uh, Boral Low Dragon to get rid of the problem card and then go for game. And then Saryuja. It's pretty interesting. Like, you can make Fulgo and then make Saryuja in this zone and you can still go off and have a great time so saryuja even though it was played as like the original fulgo you would make this before fulgo was even out uh, you can still make it you can still make uh saryuja under a fulgo and then still go for game uh so that's why i just think this deck might be more of a going second deck because it just can push for game pretty easily if the, all the monster effects go through and you can manage to swarm the board and keep it Millennium Eyes Trick for if you go first or if you're trying to go second and you need your fur hires to go off so that you can manage yourself into a Saryuja or a Fulgo or a Boral Sword, uh, this can help. Uh, but if you're not worried about that and you just need to get problematic monsters off the field, Thousand Eyes Trick, that's your one. That's why we're playing Instant Fusion. Same thing with Theseus. Uh, this is a level 5 tuner and most of our stuff is level 2 or level 3, the viable stuff to at least sync or summon with. So we're playing... Black Rose Dragon, Cypher and Lord Omega in case we go first. Uh, you can make it going second, but why? And then Scarlet Red Dragon Archfiend because this card clears boards. Same thing with Black Rose Dragon. That's how we're playing them. Um, I just think this deck has a lot of potential going second. I've been testing it going second against some other casual decks. Uh, obviously, trying my best against meta, but it doesn't always work because usually meta decks have the potential to push and extend um, through multiple hand traps. Whereas if you stop, like, if you just stop a for higher monster, uh, and I normal it, and you Valor it, most times my turn's over. Uh, and any deck like that is less than ideal, but it doesn't mean we still can't have fun with it. Let me know down in the comment section below if you think this is the incorrect way to play it. I do think playing first is also a great way. It's just when all you can do is end with one or two negates in the form of like a hand trap and Raphael, or if you open Nutty and you can open Raphael um, and Wiz and a hand trap, uh, more power to you, but even then that's still not always enough because neither um, Rafael or Wiz destroys the card after it negates it. So you can't necessarily clear the board and that's why I think going second is a better way a potential better way to play it. Well, like I said, let me know down in the comment section below, y'all. And this is Alex from Plus3TCG, signing out.